Hi, y'all. I talk a lot about uh, Lanita here at the Blackland Ranch. I think everybody knows me. Um, I talk a lot about foraging and, you know, identifying plants and things of that nature. I was just getting ready to make me some lunch and thought, hey, I, this would be an excellent moment to share, um, you know, a little video about what I'm foraging. So today I was making a salad and I have a lot of docks out here. So I want to show you the difference between the docks. Uh, in the meantime, I picked up a little hen bit along the way, dead nettle. The flowers are gone, but the leaves are good. It's in the mint family. It's still really good. And then I have some, ah, sorry, crushed the leaves there. That's the lemon balm. I picked those up. But we're going to look at a couple of these docks that I have, and I'll show you the difference. Um, Somebody told me it was yellow dock, and I call everything yellow dock. I think it's all yellow dock, but it's... These are curly dock. Um, you see the leaves are a little bit curly, and if you get them very early, when they're really green, sometimes they're, you know, kind of citrusy tasting. Sometimes they're okay, but people do eat these. And it's good to eat these if you're going to eat them. You can eat the curly dock. Um, you, it's good to eat them before you see the seeds come up on them. You'll see now the seeds are beginning right there at the top. So they're not quite as good when the, the seeds start coming up. You start tasting a little bit of flavor bitter in them. Um, and you'll see a lot of the dock around here. You see the seed pods coming up on them. And then there's another one that I thought because the leaves are a little bit straighter, if the leaves are young, it would be good. Um, showing y'all here, these are called bitter dock. And the bitter dock, these are very young leaves. And the curly dock leaves are really good. You can eat them straight off the plant when it's green, when it's, you know, just fresh coming up. But these bitter dock, um, they'll have you can look close you see that red line going through there and as they get older as the leaves get bigger that red is more and more pronounced and that red to me when I see red in anything I know is bitter and they are really bitter so but that makes it stronger medicinally and the dosage is very small the curly dock roots are very good and very useful now this is the one that I'm just going to eat myself silly with. And this is my lunch for today. And this is a dock. It's called Common Dock. It's also called Sorrel. And it's the name that I love. It's called Cow Tongue. And it's because it looks like a cow's tongue. And the leaves are so good. Really good. You can just pull it off the plant. I often come out here and eat these off of the plant, just straight like that. But I'm going to put it in a salad. You can also cook it. Our chef, uh, Kim Lewis, used some of the docks when she was making black bean patties. And um, everybody really enjoyed it, so it was really good. Now, again, with these, you should eat them before they go to seed, and you'll see... The seeds, the little flowers are starting to form up there. So the bigger leaves might not be as tasty as the young leaves. And you see the bugs are eating these too. They like it because it's really a tasty plant. So I'll just gather a few of these leaves and um, that will go in my salad for lunch. Um, I'll clip a couple of these off while I'm talking to you. And, you know, you don't want to rip the plant up. You want to thank the plant for its goodness and really appreciate the value of what we're eating, what we are able to eat from this plant. And um, it's kind of hard to cut and hold the camera at the same time. But, um, let's see, these are really good ones. And it doesn't take much. The leaves are very big, and once I cut them up, They'll be perfect in the salad. So I like these because, again, like I said, you can eat them raw, you can eat them cooked, and they're very good. So that, all of that back there is this particular dock. And this is my first year 
knowing the difference between the docks again the name is common sorrel now it's not like the Jamaican sorrel or hibiscus um, but I'm gonna be watching these flowers and seeds and see if there's something useful that I can do with these again like I said the curly dock root is very good for helping with um, cleansing the liver it's good for diarrhea or constipation um, and it's good for any type of abdominal issues when you make it into a tincture or something of that sort but <clears throat> anyway foraging can really be fun if you know what it is and you know how to use it um, so just giving you all a you know an idea of how we forage out here and how we're using these these buttercups are really pretty but they aren't edible so you know not everything that you see is something that you should eat and there's one form of buttercup we have out here that they say is actually poison there's a flower out here that's called chickweed. Chickweed is useful. You can um, make it, make coffee with it. You can grind it up. It's a beautiful little flower. That's the white one. The blue one is a bluegrass. But there's a plant that's very similar to that that's called crow poison. And uh, the Native Americans would put it in the fields to keep the crows from eating their corn. Um, so it's very important that you identify the plant make sure from two or three sources it is what you think it is before you start trying to eat on it so i have my lunch now and i'm ready to go in and make my lunch so i thank you all for joining me um, please if you have any questions or comments send, put them in the comments below and don't forget to hit that subscribe button peace y'all